Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I'm Naveen Balani. In this week's episode, I'll talk about what are the top five strategies that needs to be adopted by enterprises to be multi-cloud ready. So let's get started. The first strategy is leveraging microservices and container-based development. Now containers has become the de facto approach to package and deploy software applications on the cloud. So container packages all the required dependencies and let software application to be abstracted from the base runtime environment, allowing you to build applications that can be deployed on any environment that provides a container management platform. And container management platforms are available on all operating platforms, be it Windows, Mac, Linux, and all cloud providers provides managed services for running these containers. Hence containers have become the de facto choice to run software application in a consistent way across all environments. So the first strategy is to break down the application into logical services and ship them as independent containers so that they can be managed and scale independently on any cloud, hybrid or on-premises environment providing container management solution. Next we move on to the next strategy. The second strategy is to be cloud agnostic. So as part of this strategy, you will evaluate trade-offs for cloud vendor lock-in where compatible or similar open source service exists. For example, choosing MongoDB over Amazon DocumentDB. And when you talk about compatibility of services, that doesn't always imply portability. For instance, you may not have 100% compatibility when you move from MongoDB to a compatible service like DocumentDB. Basically, you need to evaluate what all features and functions are supported in the compatible product and you may end up making changes to the code or rewriting the theories in some cases. The third strategy is to demarcate dependent boundaries with well-defined APIs. So as part of this strategy, you should design for change through well-defined APIs for dependent cloud services and third-party services. For instance, each cloud vendor provides its own API to access the services. So instead of using the cloud APIs directly, you can create a generalized APIs that can be used by your application. And if you decide to migrate services, only the service implementation needs to be changed without affecting the overall application. So this provides flexibility and agility to your overall application. The next strategy is to design and build a robust data strategy. So as part of this strategy, you should clearly segregate personal identifiable information and non-personal identifiable information. You should also design for data anonymization from day one. Data anonymization basically implies protecting private or sensitive data by encrypting identifiers, ensuring your personal data cannot be identified. So this provides a flexible data deployment strategy where you can deploy your non-PI data on virtually any environment and PI data can run on on-premises or any compatible cloud region based on governance and sovereignty requirements. And usually for reporting purposes, or analytics, since you have already anonymized the data, that workloads can again run on virtually any cloud. Moving on, the last strategy is to standardize on DevOps tools. So as part of the multi-cloud strategy, you design and build cloud provider agnostic automated CI-CD pipeline. For instance, use a tool like Jenkins. And from an infrastructure perspective, Use open source solutions like Prometheus, which provides end-to-end -end monitoring solutions on any environment. So this concludes the five strategy that needs to be adapted by organizations to be multi-cloud ready. Hope you found the information useful and please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Till then, have a great week and happy learning.